Hello everyone, this is Ren, owner and designer at Blessing by Design. I'm here today in GoodNotes 4 again with my 10.5 inch iPad Pro and Apple Pencil. Today I'm going to be showing you how to copy and paste and how it can help you plan out your day or plan out whatever you want. So today I'm going to be using the daily layout that I showed how to add to a uh, monthly tab in my previous video. So first of all, I'm going to fill in all the tasks, all my tasks in this to-do list section first. I'm not going to fill in the priorities or this by hour. I'm going to just do it in this little area here. And I'm going to speed the video up for this part. Also, if the page is too small and you can't really see what you're working on, you can zoom in to get a better look and make it easier for you to write in what you need to do. Now, you don't always have to do the, the not fun stuff. You can do the fun stuff too, and I just made a mark. Now I want to put all my tasks where they need to fall in the day and which are my priorities. So first of all, I want to make sure that my brownies are baked before my friends get here for the party. So that's definitely going to be a priority. And I already cleaned my house, so I don't need to do that. So first of all, you use this little select tool here and you select the little area and you hit copy, you just kind of tap on it and it'll give you options of copy. And then I'm going to go up to my priorities here and I'm going to hit paste. And it's, it's going to get away from you, but you'll find it again. It's usually in the middle of the page. I'm going to bake brownies, but I can also put it in my by hour, but I have big handwriting as you can see compared to these little lines here so what you can also do is I need to bake brownies before they get here several hours before they get here so that they can cool and I can decorate them and all that fun stuff so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paste again and it showed up in my in the general area I want it to be so what you can do is you can press and hold like I'm doing here and you can hit resize and if you have big handwriting like me you can make it small to where you it fits in the little lines. So I know that I have to bake brownies by one o'clock. I have to start baking brownies at one o'clock. When I'm done with that, I can check it in these little circles. So next, I set up with my mom to call me at 11. Oop, that's kind of a bit small. And if you make it too small, you can do the same thing. Make it big so you can see it. Also, if it's really important, like calling your mom, you can use the highlighter in GoodNotes and I will show you how to make all these wonderful highlighter color codes in a separate video. So what you're going to do is you're going to do the little highlighter and what's so great about this versus a paper planner is I can make my lines straight with this little tool here. So I'm going to make it straight because for those of you who are perfectionists like me, you will love that little tool with the straight lines. And I can also highlight it here as well. So I know, oh, that's important. <laughs> as I go through the day and I check stuff off and I like to use green. And also if I don't finish it, I use red. Okay, so I did already give the puppies a bath. So I'm gonna check that off as already done. And as I go through the day, I can check off the different tasks and things that I need to do over the day. So anyways, that's how you copy and paste in a planner and how you can use it to your advantage. You can also use this in the weekly layouts as well, which I will show you real quick. So first of all, this is the same day. This is July 1st. I have to call my mom again, right? I have to call mom 
and you don't have to use the daily layouts these act like little daily layouts unless you have time sensitive stuff then I recommend using the daily layout so this is important I have to give the, I don't have to give the puppies a bath but if I plan this in advance and I say I have to give puppies a bath today on this day actually then I shall give the puppies a bath on that day and I have to bake brownies and then I can put fun stuff be sure to put fun stuff in here so I've already given the dogs a bath so I'm gonna check that off and as you can also see like if you wanted to you can also say I need to call my mom another day of the week so let's say I needed to call her again on this day I can paste it and now it says that I need to call mom today and on Wednesday and you can do this also with the weekly with the monthly layouts in the same manner so let's let's do this again and you don't have to have a checkbox but call mom and you can make it yellow too so see and I also have to call mom on Wednesday call mom on Wednesday so you can do it wherever you want you can do a big overview of planning on the monthly overview page and you can also do it on the weekly where it's a less of an overview it's more focused to where you have more lines of specific tasks or you can do specific with our daily layout page like this where you have time sensitive stuff and possibly notes on the tasks for that day that's it Thanks for watching. Be sure to like the video and subscribe. See you soon. Bye.